today we're going to look at a couple of possible security options that are available in 3 dba Composer that you can use. And they begin with our save as functions. So if I save as an object, I can have some basic security like password protection and reducing the accuracy of the model. So password protection, obviously if you check it, you can put a type in a password and they have to have that password to open it. Reduce accuracy is our patented technology that will actually take the accuracy of the model and reduce it down by whatever amount you specify. This is really important because it allows you to change the model in any degree so that the people cannot take accurate measurements of it. So reverse engineering and, and situations like that, it reduces the accuracy and there's also the ability of people online to hack models. So this is very important. Even by viewing the OpenGL of a model, sometimes they can take accurate measurements and reverse engineer. This reduce accuracy option allows you to not be able to do that. Some other options are some simple signature options. So you can include a signature and if you wanted to put a logo on there you could or write a privacy agreement that asks them to check the box before you continue. The rights manager is also important. So if you want the viewer to be able to see your annotations or cutting planes or look at the bill material, look at your assembly trees, you can select all these options ahead of time. When you save, they'll be available in the player or they won't be available in the player. This save option here, you can see if I check that, it has a little asterisk, it's only available with Composer Player Pro. That would allow the user to take your views, for example, and modify them, update them, maybe make markups and annotations and save it back so you could view it later. You could also check this forbid delete part so they can't do that on their end as well. And the other option available in the rights manager is setting an expiration date. Say you know the object is going to be no good after a week, it's just for review or something you want to show them. You can specify start and end dates or just put a relative date, 15 days from when they start the application. So those are some of the possible save as options, rights manager security and sec this secure 3D to reduce the accuracy. And I'm going to show you the results of specifying this a little bit later on when I use the secure 3D brush and it will have the same effect over the entire model. So let's get into some of the other things that are available. For example, like I mentioned, the secure 3D brush. So let's take this view for example and maybe uh, I'll just take this and explode this out a little bit here so we can see some of these parts and I might want to take some measurements and of course in the standard composer interface I can take measurements I can go ahead and click for example diameters if I want and they're going to give me accurate measurements this is 313 millimeters from there to there and that would be also available in the player if you allowed them those options. But, for example, say you didn't want them to be able to get these accurate measurements. I can select this object and go to our secure 3D brush and specify the amount of precision I want to take off. For example, let's just take off one millimeter in this case and adjust the size of the radius of the brush. You can see the radius in the window here. And if I just just paint the brush along that object. It doesn't look too much different. It's basically taken one millimeter off on the accuracy. But if I go ahead and now and try and, and get a measurement, I can see it doesn't pick up that edge. It doesn't pick up that circle. So I can't get an accurate measurement. So over here, where I didn't apply the secure 3D brush, I can pick a measurement fine. So even though it looks fairly good, it's only one millimeter distorted. I can't get an accurate measurement from it, whereas anything else I can. So that effect has the same effect if I were to go back and do the save as and reduce the accuracy of a millimeter. Or depending on your model size, you can adjust that any way you want. If that accuracy is extremely small for reduction, they might be able to pick up a measurement using the diameter or some of the other tools but they won't be accurate and that's what's important. So another option that we have for security is our simplification. 
So for example, we have simplification, decimation, occlusion, and this is really a, a powerful tool and you can also use it just to lighten up your models. So for example, if I wanted to just use this view, there's a lot of parts in here, and I can turn off 3D and just say apply to the current viewport, compute and select, and it'll take everything that's not going to be visible from this view and select it. Now that's a lot of parts. You can see um, what it actually selected, 5,000 parts, and I can take and do some different things with this. I can hide or actually view only those objects or go ahead and delete them completely. For now I'm just going to hide them to show you how this works. So if I hide that, the view still looks the same. But if I go from another view or another angle I can see all the things that it, it hid that you could not see from that other viewport. So it allows you to, to quickly hide things like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that back to its original state and do some things with 3D occlusion. And actually I'm going to do this on this model, on this portion of the model, because there's some things inside here in this model that I might not want them to have access to. Or like we say, you just want to reduce the overall weight of the model by taking things out that you don't see. So if I put this on 3D, and I can say for the current viewport, all the views, all the animation, and it will go ahead and look at, if, for example, if I put all the views, it will look at every single view in your window over here, and if those parts are never seen, it will select them and do whatever you want to it. I'm just going to go ahead and put the current viewport in here again. And speed and quality um, does make a little bit of a difference, but speed actually does a really good job of selecting these objects very quickly. So I'm going to go ahead, compute and select, and it's just going to have remove internal parts. And it'll go ahead, and you can see everything that it computed and selected that I could, again, hide, or in this case, let me view only those objects. So all these objects you never see from the outside of that model. So I could go ahead and delete them or just hide them again if I wanted to. Let's put that back to its original state again. I could go ahead and just say remove all small parts less than a certain percentage of the volume and again assign that to say I don't want to remove the internal parts just the small parts. So I'm going to go ahead and say let's do this at yeah, 10% is probably fine. We'll compute and select. And you see all the parts that are smaller than 10% of the volume that it selected. Again, I could do this to, to lighten up the models. So if I wanted to decimate this model, for example, I could do that a couple different ways. And again, decimation is something that I can do on all the visible geometry or only selected geometry or all the geometry altogether. In this case I'll just do it on the visible geometry and we can take this slider here and just take maybe we'll drop this down to, to about 50 percent and you can see currently the number of triangles that it has and it'll tell you after it goes through and analyzes it and tries to reduce the model it will give you the new amount of triangles that are going to be there. So now you can see it cut the model about in half and you can see the amount of triangles it now has compared to the amount of triangles it did have. But maybe some of these things I, I didn't want to be decimated that bad. I can go ahead and bring this back up a little bit so I can see exactly what my output is. And now I'm still less, but the model looks much better. Or I might just want to go ahead and, and do it on specific objects again, maybe these large objects. I want to keep at their full clarity, but all of the smaller objects I can do and decimate those. So maybe I'll just select some different things and instead of visible geometry, I'll put selection and then reduce the accuracy on, on the amount of polygons on those. And you see it did it before I even thought about it. It cut it in half, the amount of polygons or triangles for those objects. So you can selectively reduce geometry, decimate geometry any way you want. Lastly for the secure 3D brush again I'm going to go back to this view and maybe there's only there's something in the model that you don't want people to really be able to see at all. 
So for example, this part might be very secretive. You don't want them to see what it looks like even. I can go back and in my geometry bring my secure 3D brush and instead of just doing a millimeter, let's take it to like 10 millimeters. And now since I have that selected, it's only going to distort that object. So now we can see that this object is beyond recognition. And if I save this, that's the way the object would show up. You might want something there, but you don't want them to see what it looks like. 10 millimeters was, was obviously too much in this example, but it shows you how you can distort the objects. So there's some of the possible security options that you can use when creating 3DVIA Composer documents.